Hey guys, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you back to episode 22 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, um, yeah, for the next, there's gonna be a little bit something different for this episode and for the next few to come, as in all the re episodes that I'm gonna record in this recording session, which should be quite a few, because I have a few hours to myself, so, good times, yeah. Anyways, so... What's going to be different about these next few episodes is that I've actually done something that I haven't done for any of the other episodes, and that is to make a plan here for all these episodes in this recording session. Oh, are you tired, Link? I feel sorry for you. So anyways, uh, yeah, and all, mo pretty much all of this stuff is just going to be not story-related at all. It's going to be all side quest stuff. And yeah, I just want to make a lot of progress on all this stuff because there's a ton of it in this game, so I really need to get that done. Oh, stop yawning, like okay. So I guess I've blabbled, I've, I've babbled on for long enough. Wow, uh, and I should just get started on these things. So first thing on my list is stop hot rudder in. Oh my god, in the fucking tunnel. Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh my god, like. In the last episode, I was just trying to stop this guy everywhere, and he's like, Don't stop me now! <laughs> and I was like, what the hell am I doing wrong? Where am I? I can't see a damn thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. That was retarded of me. Yeah, so, I was just, like, stalking, stopping him, and he's like, Oh my god, I stop stopping me and stuff. And I'm like, what the hell am I doing wrong? And apparently, you have to stop inside this, like, tunnel here, this dark tunnel. So, yeah, I don't know what the hell that's about, but thanks to, I think it was DX8 Master, who commented on the last video telling me that that's what I had to do. So, yeah, let's see if that works. No, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, oh my god. Oh, fuck you, Hot Rodder Goron. Yeah, that's his name, by the way, Hot Rodder Goron. And wow, I'm getting a lot of lag in this place, I don't know why. Okay, stop that. I need you to stop lagging right now, please. Pretty please. Pretty please with cherry on top. Wow. I said I was going to make a lot of progress in these next few episodes, and I haven't even done anything in this episode yet, just because I've talked for so long, and there's so much freaking lag. Oh my god. Okay, thank you. God. Of course, I run out of frickin' bombs as soon as I get on the road here. Okay, let's talk to you. This time we're gonna buy, I guess, ten, ten pieces. I don't care if it's 50 rupees, what the hell. I just need to get some progress done here, oh my god. At the rate, this, at this, at the rate that this video is going, I'm not gonna make a lot of progress here, but in the next few episodes I should make a mega ton of, pro of progress, I just, like seriously. Okay, so back up to the third floor, the th level three. Oh yeah, and there's Hot Rod Goron. Let's try and throw one in front of him. Yes! Oh my God! Thank you. Okay, is this in the tunnel enough for you, Hot Rodder? Please. All right, I'll give you. Thank you. Oh my goodness! In praise of my courage, my courage to blow you up under tunnel. Anyway, so we got the big bomb bag, so now we can carry up to 30 bombs. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do. And I'm just, re I just remember something that's not on my list, but I started in the last episode. It's that, like, blow upable rock maze that's at the top here. So, before I continue with my list, I guess I'll just do that quickly, because uh, there's some nice stuff to be had of it. Namely, rupees and a sculptula. Yeah. So anyways, here's the pattern for this puzzle here. First you watch a kaboom at that rock. And then you go down here and you blow up that one. Watch a kaboom. And you come down here and you blow up this one, I'm pretty sure. And we watch a kaboom. And now there's two paths to take here, I think. Uh and I think you want to take this one. Oh there's actually three paths to take. Watch a kaboom. And is this the right way? Yes, it is. And there's a few things here. Here's the one chest, which contains 50 rupees. Like I said, well, I didn't say it. I just said there were rupees down here, so whatever. 
and there's another 50 rupees down there, so there's 100 rupees just in that, and there's your Skullshula. I don't know how you avoid getting hit by that thing, because there's, like, you don't have enough time to get back up, or, like, compensate for Link's stunnedness after hitting the box, so you're pretty much bound to get hit unless you hit it from, like, the other side or something, I'm not sure. Okay, so that's all I had to do there. So, what's next on my list? Uh, Skulltra... Oh, yeah, the Skulltra I missed inside Dodongo's Cavern. Yeah, no no one actually commented about that, and I'm not surprised since not many people watch my videos anyway. But I did actually miss a Skulltra, which I found out when I went back in on my practice file. Yes, I do have a practice file. To... Uh... To go through that dungeon, I found that there was a Skulltra that I actually missed, so... We're gonna go get that now, if that's fine with you. I'm gonna have to come back here later, though, and I, I don't really care about that. Dude, throw it away and jump off. Okay, uh, let's just break one of these rocks, because all every time that you break one of these rocks near Dongo's Cavern, if you're missing any hearts, it'll have three hearts inside of it, and if you're at full health, it'll have three rupees inside of it, just in case you didn't know. You see a small amount of soil here. Well, no shit. What the hell? Uh, oh, six minutes. Six and a half minutes already. Wow. Okay, so, back in Dongo's Cavern. We're not going to be here for long. Thank God. Unless we epically fail and miss the jump like that. Ow. Okay. Thank God. I, how does that not burn my shield? Like, what the hell? I, I roll on, ho on top of hot lava, or, or hot rocks, or whatever. And my shield doesn't burn. But... On the other hand, I get hit with a flaming bat, which should be dead because it's on fire. And that gets rid of my shield. Ah, oh, this game makes no sense sometimes. Yeah, so anyways, the skull shield is over here near the boss room. Uh, let's put it on our Highland shield just so that we don't have to worry about these freaking fire keys taking away our shield. And I'm going to get hit, I know it. Yep. Okay, so the Skulltra is in this room, I'm pretty sure. I did miss a few other things in this dungeon, but nothing that's really remotely important. So, okay, die. Thank you. I'm tired of seeing your fat ass on top of the screen. Oh my god, no. Wow. That was pretty cool. It made me, like, go extreme speed fast. Okay, so here's a bumble wall that you want to bomb and watch go boom. Like a turtle. Nee. Okay. And behind this is a door. And in this door, there is a statue. And we're going to want to move that out of the way because there is a skeletal behind it. And that's all we came here for, so we can get out now. Thank God. Uh, I'm probably not gonna, even going to cut any of this. I just I don't really care at the moment. I wonder if I can just take the warp out of the Dodongo's boss room. Oh my God. I didn't... Just because of the darkness on my screen, I couldn't even see that there was a block there. Frick you. Oh my god, no! Okay, climb up. Why is Link still on fire? Climb up. Roll. Oh my god, get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Oh, uh, let's get some... Let's get a fairy here. What do you say? But not in our bottle. Like we could have used that one time. Oh my god. Anyway, so I guess we'll just try warping out of the boss room. Let's see if that works. Uh, just in case I need to press the switch again, I'll push this down. Uh, I feel like I'm doing this entire dungeon over again. I just did it like a few minutes ago on my practice file. Jeez. And look at that, I do need to do it. But you know something I figured out about these keys here, the bats? Um, is that you can actually take your Deku Nuts and when they get close to you, just throw a Deku Nut. And they fall to the ground and they're absolutely harmless. And they stay like that for like 10 full seconds, so you can easily hit all of them before they get back into the air. Uh, it might just be easier to go back to the entrance, but I don't care. I'm doing it this way, because I'm awesome like that. Push it faster, Link. I know that you're not all that strong, but... Well, I'm guessing you are that strong because of all the stuff that you've gone through in this game, but... Whatever. Uh, you could push that block faster. You don't even push it faster, like, later, when you get stronger. Uh, it's kind of spoilery, but I don't care. Oh, I even hear the warp right now. Yay! Uh, is Dodongo still No. King Dodongo, like, evaporated or something. 
So anyways, we'll just warp out, and hopefully we won't be ambushed by Gorons like we were last time. That was scary as hell, man. No, and we're not even on this... We're not... We didn't even appear at the same spot that we did last time we were from there. Oh well. Whatever. Okay, so... I really didn't get much done in this thing. I got the top two things on my list done, which isn't a lot, considering the size of my list. Uh, so... But we're running out of time regardless. So, I guess that that's that. In the next episode, we're going to continue on with this list and hopefully get a lot more done because I'm just going to get right into it instead of talking on and... Yeah. So, that's it. This is Archon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.